Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and today I'm going to show you how to get Facebook Live reactions pulled into your live stream. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, way of doing this. Um, looked around, found a way, and let's go ahead and dig right in. This is a nice way because it works with any platform. So let's see what you need here. First of all, you need a Facebook account, right? You got to live stream to Facebook and you got to prompt your users to use a certain emoji and then we're going to count those emojis and display them in our live show. You need a Facebook developer access token. I'm not going to show you mine because it's private. I'm not going to show you how to get it. There's a video below that goes into more detail. This is specifically how to implement this in vMix. And I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible because these videos are, I want to keep them short if at all possible. You need a Facebook post ID. I'll show you how to get that. And you need a server and a little HTML knowledge to, in order to get all of this working. So I'm going to do a quick review of all of this, show you how it works, and then there's a video below that really goes into more detail. Uh, I, I don't want to just keep live streaming my Facebook account for tests and you know bug people, so I'm just going to quickly show you how all this works, and the video below is a live demo, and uh, it should be sufficient for showing how all this works. So first of all, you obviously need to go live, right, on Facebook with, you, with whatever you're going to live stream, and you need the app I I, th I still haven't figured out whether I don't believe this is the the live um, post ID. Um, that is not the post ID. That's the pro that's the problem I've been running into. Is that you actually have to start the live stream? Unless unless I'm wrong, unless someone else out there knows something other than I do, you need to actually start the live stream, and then they will give you the post ID. I do not believe. That that's the post ID, that's a stream key. So you actually have to start the live stream and grab the post ID once it's been created. So that's a little tricky. It's not necessarily the best thing in the world, but it is what it is. So the next thing I'm going to show you is, let me just go ahead in here, and I'm going to show you the files that you need. So this is, a, I'm going to have a free download for this below. And this is going. This is basically an HTML website. You upload this to your server, and you just you basically just pull it in as a web browser into your live stream. So let me show you what this looks like on PTZ Optics. So this is this is it right here. So there's two. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. I will go into some of the specifics, but I'm not going to do a live demo because I already have a video below for that. Basically, you prompt the users to do something, and there, there's really two ways to do this. You can have it as, I'm going to pull the HTML in here. Basically, this is available on GitHub, open source, original source code there. Um, you have a background URL. Now, you, if you know CSS or JavaScript, or if you know a little CSS, you know you can, instead of doing a background image, you can just do a background color and you can do the background color green and use a chroma key and then just pull in the live reactions which I think is something that a lot of people are going to want to do. So, um, because that makes it a little bit more flexible and I'm going to show that off. So, you get your background URL if that's what you want or just choose the green one which I've already created in this download. Um, and the only two things you need are your Facebook access token and your post ID. Those two variables, you put them in, upload it to your server, and it will automatically update. And there's some CSS and stuff. You want to make it look pretty. I'll show you three different layouts that I have. So first of all, let me go ahead and put vMix into my live production. I, the best way that I've seen to show vMix is kind of like this. So I'll just show it behind me. I think this is the best way to show it, show it off. So here is vMix, right? Okay. And I'm going to take you kind of through it. Um, what we, what we want to do is we want to add a browser input. So we've uploaded, this is assuming that, you know, all the files are right. We got our access token. We got our, um, Facebook streaming, uh, post ID, we've uploaded all the files to the server, we've checked it, and we've made sure that it's, you know, displaying on a regular web browser. 
Now we can simply go into vMix and go into the web browser, type it in, boom. There it is. And this is pulling something from last time that I had one like. Um, and then if there was a love, it would just sh show up here. It's like five loves, ten likes, or whatever, whatever you're doing. So that's one way of doing it. Um, and that's a popular way, and I'm thinking in our live show, I may actually run uh, a Facebook Live Reaction of the Week, you know, and have people react to it, something along those lines. Um, the other way to do it, which is kind of an interesting way, is, and this is going to be, this is going to be kind of cool. So I'm going to add another one, but this time I just have the background completely green, and I'm going to run a color key on it. Should be pretty simple. So now, I can overlay, now it's not coming out exactly how I want it, so we'll have to figure out uh, the best way to do this. I'm not sure, oh there, okay there, okay good. So there, that's my, like I, this is a great way to do it in my opinion. Now I could just put, I could do a lot of different things. You know, I could put it over here, I could put it over there, I could put it anywhere I want. And you could just have it kind of like a sidebar or however you want and have the likes and the, 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 any of the Facebook emojis just tile up anywhere you want them. So that's the other kind of cool way to do it. Um, and that's it. That's, that's the, the gist of it. I hope that makes sense. Browser inputs pulled into vMix. The green screen background idea is really cool. I have that in the download below. And I wanted to keep this video kind of short. Um, because there's another video below that goes into getting the Facebook token, all of that stuff. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.